So today is the Fellowship of the Idiots, and we're about to embark on a 19.7 mile run, whether we are ready for it or not. Well, we have picked up our packet, 420 and 466, punch bucks, ah, silver. Fellowship of the Idiots, the first time. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day. It's slightly chilly. By the time we finish, it'll be warm. It's probably gonna get warmer and stuff, and at every aid station, we're gonna have a plastic bin, and you can put your stuff in that plastic bin and we'll get it back here. The history of the idiots, raise your hand. I'll raise your hand. So we met up with the founder and race director, Peter, and asked him a few questions about the Fellowship of the Idiots. How many years has this been going on? This has been going on since 2003, 16 years now. And it started on a cold December morning in 2003, and it was seven of us. And we started at 4.30, and it was 20 degrees out, and we ran from here to the top of Warren Mountain and back. And I, I wrote an article to the newspaper about it, and they ran an article about the run we did. And my wife, Renee, at the time, she was getting a massage, and the massage therapist, Brenda, said to her, did you see where those idiots ran from the wide to the top of the wall, not in the back? And she told me the story, so I, I said, I called us the Fellowship of the Idiots, so that's how the name came. So, another aid station, met a really cool guy, what's your name? Chris. Chris. Nice Chris is from Cary. Very cool conversation, helping pass the miles. He's doing a really cool event called Sea to Sea. It's an expedition race, and uh, it's gonna be really cool to see what he does. Six mile mark. Six mile mark. Hey, see you, sir. So right there, that is the gentleman who puts on this race. I would definitely say, for a free event, this is amazing, the amount of support. We've hit three aid stations in fully stocked yeah seriously in th in six miles it's been outstanding goose waters yeah and they even had medical support at that last one crazy so we have made it into Morrow Mountain State Park Climbing up Morrow Mountain. This is a free event. It's crazy. Free. Eight stations every two miles. Goose jail. It's crazy. I mean, and look at that view. I know the GoPro is crap, but God, we're gonna hit it perfect. We are gonna hit it perfect. And like that, we are halfway uh, to the Fellowship of the Idiots. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Perfect conditions. So not only this being a free event, but they have amazing support. Like, no joke, this is really, really awesome. Thank y'all so much. Like, it's amazing, amazing. Cheers, my friends. Heck yeah. Oh, boom, boom hit it. Hojo, come on! We waited on you. Yeah, so that yelling back there, that was Brian Hojanaki. Hojo. Boom! Yeah, 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 getting yeah, them, yeah, getting yeah. them, getting them! I want to give a huge birthday shout out to Maggie. Don't know who Maggie is, but happy birthday, Maggie. Doing good, doing good. Almost there. Almost there. Good job. At the Suffer Club, we love watching people push themselves farther than they ever thought they could go. But we also love cheering and celebrating people. And on this run, there were a lot of people to cheer and celebrate. So great job to all of the runners out today, because it was tough. Good job. Good job. You're doing great. Stay positive. You got this. Look at that. Less than eight miles to go. Less than eight miles to go. Guys, such a great support crew out here. I mean, they've been out here way early before the sun rose. He is. We knew you'd be coming back. There we go. Nothing oh. like a little music walk. Yeah, change the tone. We are coming up very closely to 15 miles. Tyler's doing a great job. He's pushing the pace. I'm a little tight. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, these next four miles are gonna be a doozy, but that right up there is another aid station. Can't wait for that. I, I was up all night brewing it in my bathroom. Fantastic. Is it fermented? Yes, it is. It better be. S-U-F-F-E-R. So my buddy Tyler that I'm running with, this is his longest run to date. And this is our February half and then some. We're still staying around a 10 minute pace. For both of us to be very low mileage weekly runners, I would say that's pretty good. How you feeling? I hate life right now. And like that, we are at 19 miles. I need a high five. Made it. And like that, we are done with this. I am here with Peter, and Peter is the race director, creator of this one amazing free, free, yeah, it blows my mind, free race. Part of why it's free is because when it first started, it was just a low key thing. In the first few years, I would just bring donuts out or whatever when it started growing a little bit. I never charged. Finally, after about, you know, I started providing free t shirts to everybody. Right. So this is so, like, That's free. That's it's free. free. Like, it's crazy. Show I mean, the back. Show the back. we had a guy, which is so weird, a guy from Chicago ran today. And I said, well, how'd you hear about us? He said, I saw it in the running in the USA. So then I'm thinking, okay, he's down here to visit family. You know how when you travel, you look for local races? I said, well, what, what are you in town for? He said, I came to do this. He said, I flew down to run the race because he's running in the Tokyo Marathon and he needed a 20 mile run to get in. So he flew down, stayed That's in the hotel crazy. here, and he's flying home this afternoon, so. To Peter and the amazing support crew that put on the Fellowship of the Idiots, thank you so much. This was an amazing event. We will definitely be back next year with a bunch of our friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely share because events like this should not be missed. We'll see you real soon.